Hardik hi good to have you with us how have you been Good good how are you Ashu I'm doing very well Hardik it's a pleasure to have you uh, we are we are doing this uh, in partnership with uh, 21 by 72 this event which is uh, being hosted uh, in Surat by uh, you know IV Associates right which has been right. a very active uh, angel investing uh, network uh, you know and a platform uh, largely led by a lot of very serious uh, enthusiasts right about the technology ecosystem the startup ecosystem uh, and they're trying to sort of redefine the role of Surat right which has been uh, you know a very fledgling ecosystem from a business standpoint I think Surat has, has, has kind of redefined many industries in many ways uh, it's led that uh, you know path of growth uh, for many uh, SMEs and SMEs, right? Uh, you know, and it's become a case study uh, across a lot of uh, your places, right? Uh, and I think uh, with this initiative, with this event that they're doing, they're trying to cre- create a very solid impact, right? Uh, Hardik, you've been a portfolio company of IV Associates, right? Uh, and I think as part of this entire you know, partnership uh, between Asian Tech Journal um, and 20 UN by 72, we're doing this special, uh, you know, uh, discussion, a conversation with you. Uh, in in you know, kind of impact that you try to sort of create with uh, Satyu Analytics, right? Uh, before we do all of that, Hardik, a quick round of introduction will be very helpful, and we dive into the conversation on uh, you know all the good work that you've been doing with uh, Satyu Analytics, uh, and how you're more importantly empowering the government to go on and create a very critical dent, uh, right? Understand data uh, to to uh, you know uh, essentially create a very different kind of an impact, right? Engage the citizens, uh, you know, policy frameworks that could cover a lot many people right? because there's a lot of occasions that's not necessarily something which is very clear. Uh, you enabling to do, them to do all of that, right? Uh, so, quick little introduction and we dive into the conversation part. Sure. Thanks, part. thanks Ashu. First of all, I uh, totally agree with you that uh, Surat has redefined many industries and uh, startup ecosystem is something which uh, uh, led by 21 by 72, it's going to redefine very shortly uh, through this right. particular event. Uh, 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 Ashu, I've done my B.Tech in Civil, my uh, MBA in Infra and my MS in Construction Management. So, my domain has been uh, primarily into the construction uh, uh, field uh, because of my family background and my family right. history. But uh, you can say fortunately and accidentally, I've ended up uh, into the data analytics side of things now. So, uh, that is that is something which uh, I believe uh, uh, where the career path is going on and uh, speaking about my role with CPU Analytics so I am majorly uh, handling the operations strategy business as well as the execution part of uh, the organization so uh, to be very frank uh, AI, ML, deep learning all these terms are definitely very much interesting and intriguing but uh, uh, I am not the right person to deep dive into the technical uh, aspects of it so yeah over to you. Uh, I think in this conversation, Arthik, we're lastly going to be talking about uh, you know the kind of impact and you know the kind of product lines that you have, right? Yeah. Uh, and I think right. the intent behind it uh, that's very very important. I think I think execution is something uh, you know which usually has to follow the vision, uh, and that vision has to be very very strong, uh, right? right? Uh, that's yeah. essentially how we see it. Uh, Arthik, I'd love to understand the construct of uh, of Sapphire Analytics, right? Uh, when I look at you know the products that you do, uh, you know you seem to be a data analytic company, which is largely you know, focus towards governance, right, or improving governance. Right. Uh, I think the first segment that you've chosen is largely the government. Uh, my sense is a lot of this is something which is going to be African and larger organizations as well. Uh, but why don't you tell us a little more about the construct of SAPU, right? right? What's the vision and what's the focus uh, with which you are, uh, uh, you know, building and growing uh, right. the right. current set of products that you have? Right. So, Ashu, uh, let me, uh, you know, uh, take you uh, probably three years back. Uh, when we started this organization and what was the vision right. uh, behind starting this thing so me prashant nikam uh, who is again uh, who was a, a very well known name in the bureaucracy and uh, was a former irs officer who was uh, director of police at mha so right. he threw this idea that there are you know of course multiple data points lying around and right. multiple decisions are taken at multiple level by each and every individual so how using this data science if these decisions can be improved to a great extent uh, every day multiple decisions are taken but they are somewhere on the line taken you know on the basis of intuition on the basis of guts sure. but uh, sure. limited data intelligence and the data driven decision making involved uh, sure. that's where the idea came from and ashwin shivastav my another co-founder he being uh, uh, from the technology domain iit bombay sure. himself being a venture capitalist so he of course knew how uh, this data can be you know uh, thought of something like a, a piece of rock and uh, 
data science and artificial intelligence if uh, put into the right uh, way how this piece right. of rock can be uh, potentially you know uh, uh, carved out into a beautiful sculpture so that's where uh, the vision uh, uh, you know initiated with that how we can create a domain uh, which can essentially help us to bring out the intelligence out of the inaccessible data sure. so uh, how uh, every individual every citizen of the uh, country and essentially the globe can take decisions on the basis of data backed by data and right. uh, not backed by the intuitions and uh, uh, the emotions so that uh, the outcome of these decisions can be largely uh, beneficial to all the sectors of the society so that's Super. where the journey initiated with of course right. the uh, idea was uh, not to serve only the uh, government sector so right. largely of course we work with uh, we, we partner with multiple government organizations but the only reason for this partnership is because uh, Uh, government as you know is the largest stakeholder of data as well as the largest stakeholder of uh, impacting lives of multiple citizens public benefits right public. right so that's where uh, uh, government is something that we started with but of course we are sure. now moving towards uh, multiple institutions of national importance like uh, you can say namely uh, tata group then uh, ifco and so on so that's the idea that how decision making in any organization can be improved using data science which can at the end of the day create some social impact so of course we don't want to work for any uh, such projects and everywhere with uh, the idea is to create the social impact at the end of the day and improve right. the lives of the people that's interesting i think that's that's a, that's a very meaningful uh, vision uh, hardik uh, I, I, you know i'd love to understand uh, right now what when you're talking about you know impacting right when you talk about decision making right in within organizations uh you know there are many many layers right uh, and i think as the organization is so large and you know you're catering to the government right there are many many stakeholders at, at play right uh, and the decision making is not essentially uh you know very very simple uh you know you have to uh, bring in like i said right, a lot of these stakeholders in the process uh there are inter departmental uh you know overlaps that sort of also uh, come in right so there is like, like a lot of this complexity uh the flow chart is not as clear as you would want it to uh right uh, and the complexity keeps increasing as there's a change in the government right so there's not one solution that you can have in that setup i'd love to understand how why don't you tell us a little more about the product uh, your profile that you have uh, i think that will help us understand how you are dissecting or how you prioritizing you know the sector in a in a uh, you know for all the you know the impact that you want to create i think will give us a very good understanding in terms of how you approach the problem right so uh, i would say firstly ashu you have rightly said that there are multiple layers there are multiple uh, domains when uh, departments work uh, so there are multiple interdepartmental silos sure. into it right uh, uh, let's say for example a chief minister when a chief minister wants to take a decision so of course there are uh, more than 20 to 25 departments uh, portfolio which come under him so the data points of one department uh, is currently not being leveraged by another department so uh, there is a constant need for uh, making this different data points talk to each other so uh, it's not going to be for us it's not going to be a sector specific but uh, rather uh, we are uh, going into multiple sectors for the same reasons that how this uh, data points for different departments can be uh, compile together and how this data points can help serve the people at the end of the day so i'll give you a few uh, case studies of different products that we are doing in probably you know help you uh, yeah. better understand so uh, we are right now working let's say uh, in the domain of agriculture so in the domain of agriculture we are closely working with a partner uh, company a partner uh, organization ifco kisan so right. uh, we are developing certain products and solutions which can help farmers suggest the right kind of crops the right kind of fertilizers the right kind of uh, uh, medicines which can be used for uh, certain diseases for their crop sure. while sure. Uh, doing so we are collecting a large amount of data uh, based on the uh, requirement of the farmers what is the price of that particular crop what is the demand for that particular crop what is the supply uh, ratio for that particular crop now when this particular data set is being uh, collected by us so of course this data set uh, uh, is not going to be limited only for the farmers but it's going to help other organizations let's say namely uh, mahindra or godrej or any other organizations who are into the domain of agriculture so what we are doing right. is essentially we are uh, collecting data on one hand and uh, using the insights of those data points 
we are suggesting certain policy recommendations as well as suggesting certain strategic initiatives to different uh, uh, institutions stakeholders stakeholders right so uh, talking about the product portfolio so there are around seven solutions that we have built up currently uh, this solution is uh, uh, are then multiple uh, use cases of the solutions there are multiple use cases which is being used in different domains so uh, we are currently developing video analytics solution so this video analytics solution is of course used by uh, the crime department to uh, analyze the uh, videos of cctv footages then to understand the crime patterns and so on sure. so uh, this is one part of it the another part is the text analytics so we are using this text analytics to understand the different manuscripts of uh, india right. what is the deep message uh, undercovered under uh, under this different manuscripts this is uh, being used in one sense it is used by the law enforcement departments to understand right. how uh, different people are linked to each other when you uh, uh, study a fir or when you study multiple such firs so sure. there are you know multiple linkages multiple networks can be drawn across different people so this is another uh, uh, solution that we are working upon we have developed uh, chatbot solutions so this chatbot solutions uh, are helping us to connect with uh, the citizens at a larger level so if you might remember at the start of the pandemic there was a, a huge reverse migration of the blue collar workers at the start of the pandemic if you might remember there was a large uh, reverse migration happening right uh, of the blue collar workers so uh, of course this blue collar workers were in dire need of employment on the other hand the industries were also looking for uh, such blue collar workers uh, uh, for multiple uh, 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 reasons so uh, along with the department of science and technology government of india we uh, concept uh, conceptualized a solution which uh, uh, was used to connect with the blue collar workers on the ground on a hyper local level so we developed a whatsapp chatbot solution using that whatsapp chatbot the blue collar worker in their regional languages could uh, interact with uh, uh, the department provide their data to the department and uh, on the back end we were matching this data with the requirement of the industries so uh, essentially what we were doing is we were uh, mapping and matching the demand and supply of uh, industries with the blue collar workers so that was right. one way of enhancing the employment but on the other hand while doing so what we realized that uh, there is a, a big uh, a gap or you can say there is a, a huge skew in the hyper local skill development of that particular region so let's right. say in agra uh, the demand for carpenter is uh, very high whereas the supply for plumbers is very high so right. how the skill development policies of that particular uh, uh, region can be uh, optimized on a longer period of time means of course uh, it can't be done immediately but can be done in a longer period of time so right. that is one of the things that uh, uh, we have been doing so uh, that has been done using our chatbot solutions so uh, in the similar way right now we are creating an ai guide for uh, health we are working with multiple healthcare organizations as well as with the department as well on how the uh, uh, chatbot can be used to track the health activities of uh, different citizens and how this different citizens can be suggested multiple uh, recommendations based on their uh, uh, activities as well as based on right. the health status so right. that is something that again we are doing using our uh, whatsapp solution uh, chatbot solution it's it's interesting and it's intriguing at the same time right i think there are many solutions that that you kind of building right uh, you know would love to understand the the, the go to market right and i think because it's not just so much more complicated uh right and i think conceptualizing from conceptualizing to implementing right? i think it's just so difficult uh, and that's largely because you know we have a lot of diversity right uh, we have a lot of you know edu- edu- uh, educational disparity right uh, you know and, and that essentially means that you'll have to you know when you're solving for a problem right when you're creating a solution uh you know it just possibly requires so much more time right because you want to bring in all of these stakeholders i'd love to understand the conceptualization and the development process of some of these uh you know applications that you've uh, built right from an impact standpoint i think uh, i think these are these are areas which have largely been disconnected right i think that the impact that you are trying to sort of create with all of what you're doing is phenomenal no doubt about it but i'd love to understand the product identification and development uh process uh because it's not easy uh it's not easy you know how do you bring in all of these key stakeholders you know and deliberate with them uh right. it takes a lot of time right to convince each and every stakeholder to come onto the same page and finally for it to get launched right uh right. take us through the process of course so uh, a word of caution that the gestation period is of course very high 
but uh, when it's executed at the end of the day and uh, seeing the smiles on the faces of the people uh, whom we have created the impact uh, is something which uh, satisfies all the uh, large gestation period around right. this particular thing right. now talking about the process uh, firstly ashu since we are working in uh, different domains and this different domains are all interconnected with each other we need different subject matter experts uh, right. for such uh, understanding we of course uh, are limited in our own understanding so we have got right. subject matter experts uh, in the domain of agriculture in the domain of law enforcement in the domain of heritage and culture i am myself appointed as an advisor to uh, ministry of science and technology in the matters related to heritage and culture so uh, in such ways we have appointed different domain experts uh, and different subject matter experts who first identify what is the root cause that uh, uh, is uh, uh, in that particular domain sure. and how different solutions that we have created or different products that we have created can be utilized in solving those root causes so that is the usual process so uh, uh, the idea is to first uh, uh, the products are already created you know seven to eight different sure. solutions are already created now right. this solutions we have to just customize using uh, the expertise of the uh, uh, domain uh, experts subject Expert. matter expert right. and we have to create a prototype around this that uh, of course this is something which is not only uh, on paper on theory but this is something right. that actually uh, uh, create an impact on the ground and right. uh, is uh, uh, actually feasible so uh, right. uh, at the start of the pandemic uh, niti ayog had built up unnati platform to uh, create uh, this uh, uh, match making between the workers and the industries but right. uh, that was largely not uh, very uh, uh, successful or impact uh, uh, was very uh, limited uh, the reason being that the blue collar workers are not going to download the application from the play store and put in the requirements right so there needs to be something which uh, is uh, uh, easy accessible and the ui is uh, uh, friendly so that's where the right. chatbot solutions came in that particular regional languages so this is what uh, we do is what we do is of course we first uh, understand what is the root cause we uh, uh, have the domain experts with us we create a prototype around it we implement that prototype uh, and uh, do a poc the proof of concept and once the proof of concept is done then we plan to scale that thing up into a larger scale, uh, level so that is the usual uh, go to market strategy so of course when you see that something is being impacted and some results right. are being given out of it so the acceptance of that particular product becomes very much easier and on the other end it also gives us a uh, 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 confidence that of course uh, it's you know going to create some impact at the end so it right. becomes more uh, easier for us to push for that particular product as well as uh, uh, go to market with that particular product super super harvik now you know i i think one thing that is established across through the you know through this conversation right is that your impact first in many ways right i think impact is something that that i think motivates you at a personal level and i think as an organization philosophy as well right. i think that cut used to be the underlying right uh, that you know people should get connected uh, there right. should be more information more transparency uh, in the ecosystem so that the uh, you know one people can communicate right so even if there is for example some element of distress they can communicate with the decision makers and eventually decision makers can kind of uh, you know take the right call right around say certain certain data points that you mapping out right now this is uh, to be uh, you know this transition that we've seen in last two two and a half years has been is very new right uh, i think there's a much longer way uh, you know for us to travel right what i'd love to understand are again and and you know and and very briefly uh, is uh, you know is the business model right uh, now a lot of occasions uh, you know when you went venture funded right uh, you essentially uh, Uh, you know, look at engagement, right? In many cases, you look at, especially in the consumer business, you look at engagement. Engagement becomes a certain form of a currency, right? Which can eventually turn into a, you know, a certain paid consumption, right? Uh, in a consistent format. Uh, in your case, how are you doing this? Is the government your buyer? Uh, is the industry your buyer, or is the last mile citizen who's consuming from you your buyer, right? Or are you just doing this to facilitate engagement? And monetization is something that will follow. through uh, over a period of time uh, i'd love to understand so of course uh, ashu uh, speaking about the clients or uh, the buyers of uh, sure. our solutions or our uh, products that we are building up so of course government and the uh, citizens are somewhere which uh, we don't believe is the the end customer for us the end customer for us is the industries who are implementing this solutions or who are getting benefited out of the solution sure. so uh, we usually don't work on uh, selling our products but we work on revenue sharing basis okay. so that is the uh, business model that we in which we operate uh, upon so when we are building uh, let's say certain solutions with uh, 
certain government department as well as certain private institutions what we tend to do is we uh, uh, have a jv agreement as well as a revenue sharing model wherein the amount of impact that we have created we take certain percentage of that particular impact as the part of the uh, revenue that is being generated out of it so let's take an example of uh, maybe the healthcare solutions that we are going to provide the healthcare solutions when uh, it's going to get implemented into the market so uh, of course multiple people are going to get their uh, uh, testing uh, uh, thing increased and multiple uh, uh, you know uh, health checkups will be increased multiple uh, uh, other things will going to increase so we have partnered with the company uh, in a revenue share model that we won't be charging for building up this particular product but the impact which is created out of it we want to be part of that particular impact Uh, right. so that it's going to be a continuous process. It's not something like an IT company that uh, software बना के हमने दे दिया अब आप implement कर लीजिए इसको. So right. that's not what we are looking at. So similarly, when I'm saying about uh, this blue collar workers uh, uh, that we are trying to connect with the industries. So uh, uh, of course there is a revenue model in that way that uh, how we can connect with the industries and become part of the revenue that is being generated out right. of it. So uh, that is how the revenue sh- uh, model is being uh, uh, planned. but uh, again after saying so uh, it is uh, uh, we have to also sustain over this period of time so Absolutely. there are multiple contracts that we have taken up with uh, government as well as private institutions and uh, multiple subscription based uh, packages have also been designed for such institutions so uh, the larger model is the revenue sharing model very interesting i think i have to understand right now uh, what to me what what possibly seems to be the case and correct me if i'm wrong right uh, is that uh you are one of the partners for the government right you're not the sole partner for the government right is that a fair understanding because then in that case uh you know uh, competition becomes a very important uh you know piece to look at and a component to look at right uh, that essentially means that there can be many players with the same this thing and essentially aligned with the same uh, arrangement with the government right uh, so are you exclusive with the government in certain cases or is this a non exclusive partnership where you're just bridging that gap and making this information available right uh, and the government can still go on to have other sources to collect such data because they do right uh, departments have their own programs they undertake a lot of studies right uh, they have consulting companies like kpmg and other kinds of world so coming in and doing a lot of work with them uh, what happens uh, i'd love to understand the construct uh, of this relationship and partnership that you have so uh, particularly with the government uh, we we don't work as the vendors majorly so uh, as you know kpmg mckinsey is or maybe tech mahindra tcs and others uh, typically um, engage into the vendor and uh, uh, the client model whereas sure. our model is the partnership model so i would say that there are very limited players in the market which uh, are into the partnership engagements with the government so uh, right. that is something which uh, i would say is a, a, a very limited area in which we are into a very niche uh, that we are into so uh, hence i would say it's not although it's not exclusive on paper but right. uh, definitely in practicality there are uh, uh, very limited uh, other players involved in such or engaged in such partnership models so uh, uh, all the consulting companies and the uh, it companies bid for the tender get the tender develop the solutions and uh, get away with it uh, maybe maybe but uh, what our agenda is that from start we conceptualize the solutions we uh, partner with the government we execute those solutions right. we are not only developing the solution and providing it to the government but uh, we execute those solutions on the ground so that's where uh, the I think you know I think one thing I can definitely say you know I have a work with the government uh, for a bit I think one thing I can say you really picked up a very hard sort of hard task for yourself uh, you know because a lot of occasions what you're trying to sort of implement with the government right uh, I think priorities keep changing goal posts keep shifting uh, and that's largely because the stakeholders are just uh, so many uh, and so diverse uh, uh, it's a, it's a difficult task right uh, that you've got for yourself um are they towards the end of a conversation what are the next two years like two more half years like right you're in a very very exciting space uh, you know government and governance intelligence is something which is you know we're seeing many models uh, that are coming up uh, there i think enterprises also aligning themselves to a lot of this uh, you know area uh, they're looking at very different kind of relationships and partnerships right and i think it's become a very proactive sort of a uh, a game right especially in the last two and a half years and that's largely because the government has asked you know and they've been very uh, open In, in terms of adopting to solutions that the industry has been defining right uh, mm-hmm. and i think that just makes it very very exciting for you right uh, you know because an organization which is as young as you are as agile as you are and led by a youngster like yourself uh, 
you know who's who's out there to sort of create impact right uh, i think it's going to be very interesting piece. what are the next two years like what are, what are your plans that you've set for yourself so ashu uh, uh, frankly speaking uh, government is one domain that we are working with Perfect. government is a medium to uh, with for us to connect with the citizens Perfect. our end goal and vision has always been to uh, create an impact on the citizens at the end of the day so uh, the next uh, a few years we are aggressively focusing on uh, uh, institutions of national importance like you can say large players like uh, tata reliance adanis or uh, big corporates and industries psus which uh, can help us connect with the citizens at the end of the day and uh, how we can create an impact uh, uh, to uh, with them to the citizens so of course uh, uh, if given an example let's say uh, when we are working closely with ifco the idea is ifco is not a government organization ifco is a private right. institution it's a cooperative body but the idea is uh, they have access to large amount of farmers in the country so right. how uh, together with ifco we can create that impact to the farmers at the end of the day so similarly we are looking for multiple such partners now so that our dependency is of course uh, that's uh, very clear in our vision that our dependency is not on the government government is just a medium for us to reach to the citizens so we are now exploring and building multiple such pipelines to reach to the citizens interesting and giving it back to the government right from a from a intelligence yeah. standpoint right yeah so to the decision makers right uh, hardik uh, it's been absolutely phenomenal speaking with you uh, right i think uh, you're not uh, on a lot of occasions uh, you know do we do we get to sort of uh, speak with uh, founders who are you know essentially looking at this very uh, you know difficult and a complex trifecta of solving for the citizen for the government uh, and for governance uh, and uh, between the industry right i think it's just a, it's a very very difficult trifecta to sort of deal with and to cater for because each one has its own unique challenges right i think you're trying to find a position for yourself you have built some very interesting solutions you have some amazing partners you know and and i think this is just possibly step one for you right uh, there are more incredible and interesting times and the good part is that you know while covid has been very difficult right i think the fact of the matter is for a large ship like india you know we've transitioned and how so quickly Agreed. and that makes it you know a very large possibility for a player like sapio you know with a leader like you who's young who's energetic and who's geared to solve uh, for a very large market like it there hardik we wish you all the way best in your journey got you to create this impact you know and improve the life of citizens who want it the most uh, and i think the government needs a lot of these data points to improve governance and to improve policy making because unless that happens correct i think the priorities will always be if not misplaced it will be difficult for them to steer through you know the complexities uh, around uh, you know the diversity that we have Sure. Ardik thank you so much for being here it was a pleasure to have you thank you thank you ashu pleasure talking to you as well thank you, thank you.